In this video, I will explain to you how to identify the motor cortex and the central sulcus in a very easy way on the MRI imaging. This is Mohamed Draz, and this is your knowledge platform about the brain, spine, and beyond. So before we jump into the identifying the uh, central sulcus or the motor cortex in the brain MRI imaging, let's have just a quick look into the anatomy of the sulci, gyri, and the main uh, parts of the uh, loops of the brain, so that when we talk about the imaging and how to identify the motor cortex, it becomes easier. So starting here, very simple. This is um, an image of the brain. You have the frontal lobe and we have the parietal lobe, which are that's separated by the central sulcus, as you can see. And more posteriorly is the occipital lobe, which is not of interest at this stage. If you look into this image, then we are subdividing each lobe into multiple gyri with uh, the sulci in between that's dividing those uh, lobes. So if we look at here in the frontal lobe, we'll have the superior frontal gyrus separated by the superior frontal sulcus, so on the gray side, you can see the sulci. On the left side, and the colored side, you will see the gyra. So superior frontal sulcus separating the superior frontal gyrus and the middle frontal gyrus. And then we have the inferior frontal sulcus separating this, the middle from the inferior frontal gyrus. Then we have the pre-central sulcus that then separates all these three frontal uh, gyri from the pre-central -pre gyrus. And after the pre-central gyrus, you will have the central sulcus, where after that, you will have the post-central gyrus, which is part of the parietal lobe. Then you can see here the marginal sulcus. We'll talk about this by, later on as one of the ways to identify the um, motor cortex. Then we have the superior parietal uh, lobule and inferior parietal lobule, which are uh, part of the uh, parietal lobe. Then if we look into the lateral surface of the brain, which is again important, you can see the uh, similar sulci that we talked about, the, su the superior frontal sulcus and the inferior frontal sulcus, separating into three gyri, and we can see here the pre-central sulcus. After that, we have the central sulcus and the post-central sulcus. This is the, uh, in orange, is the pre-central gyrus, then we have the central sulcus and the post-central gyrus. I'm, I keep repeating those because it's very important. Those are the three important structures to identify as we go. So relying on those uh, parameters, then we can easily uh, look into one of the signs. There are multiple ways of identifying the motor cortex on the MRI scan, relying on multiple signs on the uh, MRI imaging. The first one we'll talk about is the L sign, an L or inverted L sign, depending on which side of the brain you look at. And that relies, as I said, mainly on the frontal lobe. So if you look here at this MRI scan, this is an axial MRI scan. You go higher to the higher cuts of the uh, MRI scan where you can see the uh, frontal lobe and all of those sub signs. Let's identify those sulci and see how can we identify the motor cortex. If you look here, this line here is the superior frontal sulcus, which basically separates the superior frontal gyrus from the middle frontal gyrus. If you follow this superior frontal sulcus, it will have another one which is kind of making the L shape out of the L sign. This one that it meets is basically the pre-central sulcus. And as we just explained from the diagrams, as we explained, the pre-central sulcus will have the central sulcus just behind it. So if you follow this sulcus pre-central, the one behind this will be the central sulcus. And if you identify those, then you can easily identify the motor cortex because you can easily identify all of the gyri. So as you identify the central sulcus, then you, we know where is the pre-central gyrus and we know where's the post-central gyrus, and then you are easily identifying the motor cortex and the somatosensory cortex simply. So this is the, one of the first ways which is easy to understand, easy to know, just to go higher up in the MRI scan, find the L shape, rely on the superior central sulcus, then go backward, that will identify the horizontal part of the L shape is the pre-central sulcus, behind that would be the central sulcus, so it's easy. The other way of identifying the uh, motor cortex, which also I find easy to know, uh, easy to get on the MR imaging, but relies on another sulcus, which is called the marginal sulcus. The marginal sulcus will be posterior, so the sulcus in front of it will be the central sulcus. 
But what's the margin sulcus is basically the extension of the cingulate sulcus, as you can see here for a diagram of the medial uh, aspect of the brain. Um, you can see the cingulate sulcus as it extends all the way up, it will make the marginal sulcus. And the marginal sulcus will have an impression on the outer that will be identified also in the MRI scan. The sulcus in front of it will be the central sulcus. And as you identify the central sulcus, it will be easy to identify the rest. So if we look here into this MRI scan, again, this is the cingulate sulcus going all the way up. That will make the marginal sulcus. Basically, that marginal sulcus divides or separates the paracentral lupule from the precuneus posteriorly. So how to identify this on the MR imaging? So if you look at this again higher up into the uh, MRR imaging, you will find that there's a sulcus which is the only one like a connected line between the two uh, hemispheres. So this one will be here and if you identify that, the first sulcus in front of it will central sulcus, then posterior to that will be post-central gyrus and then you will have the pre-central gyrus, so it's easy to identify both uh, the motor cortex in that case. I hope that this makes it easy to identify the motor cortex. As I said, it's very important in your surgical planning because this is how you identify how you're going to approach this uh, lesion. If you're going to approach it from anteriorly or posteriorly, is it pushing the motor cortex? Is it, is it within the motor cortex? And that identifying those things on the MRI scan it becomes your life easier. Please let me know in the comments below if you know any other signs that you find easy to identify the motor cortex on the MRI imaging and also let me know what other videos you want to see on this channel. Stay tuned for the next video.